guys welcome back to my channel hi my fellow jubas thank you so much for joining me again in this video today is day four of our 12 days of collection mess and i am actually bringing to you guys something a little bit different so nothing relating to bags but i've got a little chanel jewelry collection that i wanted to share with you um this is something that i enjoy collecting and enjoy sort of adding bits and pieces to my collection but i will say over the years that i've been collecting it has gotten quite expensive if you're not familiar with the series every day for 12 days leading up to Christmas I am doing a version of collection mess which is 100% inspired by Meredith who initially created this video idea I love her video series she did one last year and this year and um, yeah she let me do a little version of my own obviously my collection is nowhere near as amazing as hers so we are not doing a full month also if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and do so it is free and um, it just keeps you updated with any content that I'm putting out and I do have some exciting videos coming up so you don't want to miss out on that. So Chanel jewelry, gosh, Chanel jewelry over the years has gotten quite quite incredible in terms of prices Chanel jewelry can fetch up to thousands and thousands of dollars um, I will say I've been collecting Chanel jewelry for the last five or so years and I've got a handful of them with me here and also in this little box so I don't have a huge amount certainly not um, in the same caliber as me collecting bags but I think Chanel jewelry in particular is something I do enjoy adding because it's just fun and I love vintage jewelry and I do think it's not a bad investment to be honest now Chanel jewelry at the end of the day is costume jewelry so um, you know just be aware that you're not looking at 24 karat solid gold it's gold plated but it's definitely not solid gold so you may not want to invest in Chanel jewelry if you prefer fine jewelry but me personally I love like vintage things and you know it's just fun for me it's a piece of Chanel history and some of the vintage Chanel pieces are so so gorgeous I will try to stick to an order start off with the first piece that I ever got and actually it is this bit of Chanel brooch um, so this I don't use that often because it's it does give like Chanel sales associate vibes I wouldn't mind adding a couple more though um, and then being able to have them as a little group um, putting it on a jacket or beret I think that's pretty cute and you can also put it in like a ribbon as a hairpiece so it is versatile but I certainly don't sort of just wear it on a sweater because it's giving sales associate vibes the next piece of Chanel jewelry I actually got for a pretty reasonable price um, I think I got this um, quite a few years ago way before COVID and they're actually just a pair of like these beautiful um, stud dangling earrings um, they have the starburst design and I will show you guys what these look like so this is what they look like on me um, these are obviously clasp earrings all of these are this I like to wear when I want something a bit more classy a bit more conservative because they are Chanel but they aren't like super gaudy because some Chanel jewelry can be a little bit gaudy so these look really cute with this outfit um, and yeah that's a starburst design after that I really got into belts and this is actually a belt that I also purchased so this is that tri style belt which I wore quite a lot around about 20 18 19 I love wearing this with um, shorts and just putting over dresses it was really trendy at the time and I of course had to have it this is in a really good condition and I managed to pick this up for 1100 so these pieces aren't cheap but um, I think they're kind of like a collector's piece and you can sort of use this as a belt by putting like a pouch and attaching it so it's really cool and fun and I've actually worn this recently and had a lot of fun styling it and then the other thing is you can wear these belts as necklaces as well if you wanted to so you can kind of wear it like that as a little design have it as a choker or you could just like layer this a couple of times really wear it um, as a statement piece like this so quite a few things you can do with these belts you don't have to stick to the stick to that lane of wearing belts as belts especially when it comes to these vintage Chanel belts I really love this one because it does have this CC here and you can actually take this one off it just comes with a loop and you can take this off wear it as a pendant put it on anything you want wear it as a key ring so quite versatile I think the next piece that I got was also this um, chain jewelry now this I got from Hawkeye vintage and I actually think this was originally a thicker chain with some thread running through it but I saw it like this and I kind of loved it because we did like a little shoot for the newspaper and I wore this kind of like as a choker as well and I loved 
um, how this looked as a choker. You can also still wear this as a belt, but I loved having the Chanel just written here. I thought that was really sweet and, and like statement. And I think this chunky necklace with like sweaters and jumpers looks really cool or um, something a bit more high neck. It's obviously quite chunky, quite modern and a little bit more sort of in your face. So you probably want to pair it with an outfit that suits. But yeah, this is a fun one. This one I got for I think a thousand dollars as well so as I mentioned they're not cheap but I think if you can justify it like I can most of the time I think they're great little investments so yeah that's that one so the next piece that I actually got I absolutely fell in love with. it's these ones right here these are like bamboo circular earrings these are gorgeous and one of my favorites the reason I love this one so much is because you can wear it like this with like a hoop earring and when I got these I think like the Fendi or the Louis Vuitton earrings were available and these actually did cost more than the Louis Vuitton earrings brand new but um, I don't know I just feel more comfortable wearing vintage Chanel earrings than Louis Vuitton pieces just because I do know that vintage Chanel holds its value um, and like I don't know that Louis Vuitton was a bit more urban which I'm not whereas vintage Chanel is a little bit I don't know it just gives a different vibe which is more me in my opinion and what I really love about this piece is that the hoop here is actually removable so you can take them apart and then you could just wear this one as a little hoop and it's actually it does have cc on there i'm not sure if you can see then i can just wear this as a hoop if i wanted to so i really love this piece very versatile so yeah if you're like traveling you just want to wear bring one pair of earrings this is a really nice one these are all clip-on earrings because we're talking vintage chanel so all um vintage chanel earrings tend to be clip-ons uh, and that's because they're from like the 80s if i find um links to any of these i will um link them in the info bar below after that i was obsessed with chanel earrings so i kind of went on a little bit of a craze um these are the next ones also a favorite of mine fortunately i damaged them i stepped on them so i need to get it repaired the clasp isn't as secure so so I haven't been wearing it because you don't want it falling off but this is what they look like I love a pair of dangly earrings most of my earrings are dangly earrings so these clip-ons can get a bit uncomfortable initially but you live kind of get numb and you don't notice them so that's what that one looks like as I mentioned really went on like a little bit of a Chanel craze I wanted like more statement earrings and I came across these aren't they sick these are definitely something you would wear for an event they're definitely or a special occasion they're definitely not your everyday I do watch Claire Chanel she loves her vintage Chanel pieces and she totally inspired me to get these because she has these gigantic starburst ones um those are quite rare these are pretty big as well these are definitely the biggest that i have and i actually also got the matching brooch so i'm still looking to add one more brooch i try to get these brooches in like reasonable prices definitely try to find it under less than 500 dollars because i really don't want to spend a lot on brooches so i kind of like wanted a couple more like another brooch or two just to be able to have like a little group and in varying sizes so that you know you can put them on jackets and have it looking pretty cool but yeah that's that one and then just for comparison let me just show you the other one the size comparison so quite a lot bigger as if i didn't have enough of those <laughs> I also got these. These are definitely giving more modern Chanel. They're kind of in between the side. So those are my different options. I, you definitely don't need all three and I probably should get rid of one of them. But I love them both so much that I just think, meh, just keep them and hang on to them. I can always sell them again later. But this one is definitely a little bit more wearable if you wanted something more statement. But more wearable for date nights or whatever, you could wear this. So that's that one and then I got sick of the circular ones and then I saw these these are absolutely stunning they kind of reminded me of this smaller one here and I loved it so much that I got these which are sort of a little bit bigger again these are more your statement earrings as well I don't wear this one on an everyday basis this is definitely like a special occasion earring um, but sometimes you don't want to wear hoops or loops and you kind of want like a dangling CC. This is a great one. And then finally, the last pair of earrings. These are my latest edition for sure. I have been wanting these for the longest time and they're actually um, crosses. So these 
do have CCs on them. I don't know if you can tell. I really like the look of these. I think they have a variety of different styles that you can choose from. This one I also got from Hawkeye Vintage. If you love vintage Chanel jewelry, they sell a lot of vintage jewelry. Um, Danny has the most incredible collection. I borrowed it to like to style and create content with and I absolutely fell in love with it. Of course I had to get it. And I think this is definitely me with the crosses. It's kind of like gives like gothic um, but like Chanel gives like very 90s and then the next one this was totally inspired by Danny. Danny is the owner of Hawkeye Vintage and I think she was wearing this in one of her um, like live sales and I had to find it this is actually quite a large pendant I don't know if you can tell but this is very large and she wore it kind of just like this as a choker style and I, I loved it definitely a statement piece and not something you'd wear all the time Time, but I think this is really cool. I'm also on the lookout for like a, the smaller size because this I think it comes in two sizes There's this one and then a smaller version So I wouldn't mind adding the smaller one and then you could like layer it up. Yeah, this is something that um, I have worn like a handful of times on here and also going out um, And then I actually don't mind sort of doubling it up so that it kind of like creates a, a necklace like that I don't know if I've done it properly, but you kind of get the idea and it's just yeah very statement Obviously, it's up to you. Some people would hate this look. I like it. I love Chanel vintage jewelry and I love wearing it so yeah that's that one this one was totally inspired by selling sunset I think I saw Davina who I hate but she was wearing this this one here and I was like oh my gosh I have the matching earring so I was like well let's just get the matching necklace so I got this pendant here and this is definitely a lot more dainty than like that other necklace that you just saw and because I have the matching earrings I think they look pretty cute together some it's a bit much and I you know I don't disagree so I haven't actually worn these together all that often but this would be how you would wear it and yeah I think it's nice this is a really sweet Chanel necklace I will say the earrings I shared with you guys I bought them for around one two um, so it's not cheap um, because Chanel jewelry is crazy expensive even though it is um, costume jewelry I can't explain it to you but it is what it is and then finally I've got this beautiful Chanel belt now this is quite a lot thicker um, as you can see the rings are quite large and then it's just got a really plain CC on the bottom the chain is a little bit different this has the black chain running through as well this actually came out in red beige and, and some people even took their leather off so you can see them without any leather and it still looks really good this one doesn't have a leather so it actually works really nicely with any color and this just has two um, chains and um, yeah you can sort of just wear exactly the same this one is a little bit longer so then I can wear it a little bit low waisted this one is definitely more high waisted on me um, there are different sizes I just happen to get extra small I didn't realize and, and I kind of regretted sort of getting it so short because I love being able to wear it a bit low on my hips as opposed to wearing it high waisted but this sort of fixed that for me that is it you guys that is my Chanel jewelry let me know what you guys think it's a little bit different but I love these pieces so much and they're a little collection of mine that I love to add to I will say it's getting quite expensive so I'm only adding them every now and then and even then I really think about like whether I want to add this piece of jewelry as opposed to putting that money towards a bag and um, there is one piece of jewelry I really really want to add but it's so expensive and I'm trying to get it under 1000 and that is a pair of Chanel heart earrings I just think like I don't know how much wear I'm gonna get out of it so I've held off but I want the dangling heart earrings and even the necklace I think if I got that I'd be pretty content with my Chanel um, vintage jewelry collection but I need to be patient and try not to you know pay too much for them anyways you guys that is it that is my Chanel vintage um, jewelry let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and as always hope you're having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys in my next one bye